Just want to take a look at finding the following. The limit, for example, of cosecant as x goes to 1 pi. Limit as x goes to pi of the cosecant of x. So the best way, so that is some point of reference, is to look at the picture. So look at the picture. Here I'm drawing this arrow. This arrow represents values of x that are approaching pi from the right side. When that occurs, the values of the function go down towards negative infinity over here. So for that reason, you can say, for example, that the limit as x approaches pi from the right, that's what the plus means, of cosecant of x is equal to negative infinity. At step number three, take a look back at the graph. So this time, we are going to approach pi along the x-axis, but we are doing it from the left. When that occurs, the values of the function move up along that curve towards positive infinity. You see that? So we can say that the limit as x approaches here pi from the left of cosecant of x is positive infinity. So for that reason, lastly, we must conclude the following, that the limit as x approaches pi of cosecant of x does not exist. And the reason is simple. You see that when you approach pi from the right, it goes towards negative infinity. When you approach pi from the left, it goes towards positive infinity. These two right here cannot be reconciled. So for that reason, the limit does not exist. And that's it.